All right, we are back. Okay, so welcome back, and uh, we're going to pick up with what the hell we oh I remember what we're gonna do. We needed to go back to the apartment and figure out what we missed. Oh, I know what we missed. I looked it up. Because uh, I never would have found it. Um, we have to go back to the apartment after we've looked at everything and done the recreation, which we already did. And we have to talk to the guy again who gives us a key for something else. Yeah. How could we have possibly missed that? Womp womp. Um, where the fuck was that apartment at, though? It's over here. Oh, good, those aren't tagged. Shells, powder, house, and orchid. Yeah, there we go. It's this one. on the table at least for a minute. Alright, so where was that place we needed to go back to? This one? No, the other way. This one. So, I looked this up because we, I, I, well, I don't know about we, but I never would have figured this out. What we were supposed to do is after we've done all the other stuff, including the recreation, we need to talk to this guy again. How do I get into the room beneath us? Why? The kitchen? Uh, it's locked. One of Evelyn's attackers fell through a hole in the floor. Maybe I'll find something useful if I look around. Wow. How do you know all that? <laughs> you detective types sure are clever. It would explain the broken boards. Uh, I'll get you the key. And, uh... Sorry for the mess. I'll get going. So, yeah. Um... I would not have figured that out on my own because... I assumed we were done with talking to that dude. And I assumed this is where we need to be going, yep. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that guy survived. I think he fell through and then just got jacked by monsters. Just why there's a leg there. That's a rare spirit. I'd like you to have a bottle from before Prohibition. Okay. 
congratulations on your wedding from Sister Peg. Okay, the machine gun's nice, but it chews up ammo fast. Oh, and I can't make any more ammo for it. Well, back to shotgun for that. Oh yes, let's pick up the cut off leg. See what he's got in here. Torn bit of map! In the bag of a dead gang member, I found a piece of a map for the southern part of Salvation Harbor, one of the houses on Eel Street, north of the intersection with Skipper Road, it is marked in a red circle. Okay. That's convenient. Thanks, uh, dead dude. Well, shit. Okay. 
Alright, well, I guess we're going back upstairs and get out of here. It's supposed to be north of here, so somewhere around there. Okay, so we just need to straight forward and take a left. Take that first, you know.
Oh, nice. Hi there, Billy. Gotta say, I liked you more last time we met. Same to you, pal. Heard you might be coming, but hoped you wouldn't. So how about this? Leave now, and I pretend you weren't here. Why did you need the buyers anyway? What do you get out of it? There are... powerful entities in this Borg. You should know better than to question their affairs. So you best get out, while I'm asking politely, Charlie boy. Billy, holding a family hostage doesn't suit you. Let them go, and we both walk out in one piece. It's not gonna work out that way. There's a reason the buyers are here. When the time comes, we'll set them free. Billy, I want no trouble for either of us. Byers did what he was asked, so it's time you do your part. For the last time, move along. I already saved your life once. Consider this number two. I get attached to people I save it. Bit of a weakness. But understand this, Charles. I'd hate to kill you, but if I have to, I will. Sorry, Billy. This is bigger than both of us. May the best man win. So this is how it ends, eh? I hoped you might be different. It's a shame you'll die here, Reed. This city has far worse men than you. I really wish I could pick ammo up off of dead guys. The door won't budge. Oh, come on. Uh, grieved by EOD. Uh, Barry Morgan, fisherman, disturbed by Innsmouthers catching of a fish. Luther Merritt, daughter raped and killed, guilt of EOD members unproven. Uh, Wallace Rose, injured in a fight with Innsmouthers. Uh, George Cavendish, name circled in red. Wife joined DOD, bore a child that wasn't his. Uh, Kenneth Harvey, saw Innsmouthers stealing from him. Delaney Jensen, son of disappe son disappeared in shells, blames and smathers. A note that smells of fish. I got it, Billy. I will make sure no one from the expedition gets back to shore. And if anyone slips through, I've got the I've got just the guy to handle it. Goes by the name of Lewis Flynn. Very obedient. Oh. Very obedient. We'll do everything he is told to. Provide him with detailed instructions. Yours, A. Sketchy notes. The fecund mother's young. Things to be told to Graham. Of their intellectual ability. Similar to those of a three-year-old child, but will continue to evolve mentally. Uh, will perform simple orders immediately after brought to life. Understanding of complex sentences will come later. Of nutrition. Uh, through, 
Though expendable, they are living beings and require chemicals to sustain optimum level functioning. Uh, give potassium and cod liver oil. It's good for their tissues. Uh, we'll ask for sugar. Do not give. General care. Uh, not to expose uh, to direct sunlight right after birth. Their fibers are not yet firm and they may, de may decompose easily. Oh, that's carefully folded letter. Mr. Durnan. Durnan. Uh, your proposal proved to be proved too tempting to resist. I will tell the police whatever you need, though I will return. Though in return, I will require some assistance on my election campaign. Sincerely, sincerely, M. P. Very nice, fucker. Map and coordinates. The map and accompanying pieces of paper with written coordinates, 49, uh, 47 degrees 9 south, uh, 126 degrees 43 west. <clears throat> On reviving the long dead. Steps to return spirits of the long dead ones to corporeal life. Essential salts, copy the formula from the, Boreal the Borealis Grimoire per Adone invocation should, should be recited for several hours. Search for exact wording through the works of Peter Dipano, Diapano, maybe, uh, Dies, Dies, Miss, Jecht, Jeshek? Invocation, maybe the great invocation of Aragapa, uh, Yinash, Yogsotha, invocation written in a different handwriting, Yinash, Yogsotha, be he gleb, trugdad, trodag, sorry, uh, throdag. Anyway, uh, Combine together and present to Hill, crossed out. Just give him the books and hints. Let him find everything on his own. What the hell? Everything I've faced since coming to this city is on this map. Was that key there before? Okay, that's weird. Oh, girls, don't me all each other, hiss at each other. We don't be growling. Oh, thank you, mister. I I thought they'd kill us. I I don't know how we can ever repay you. Who who are you? You look I'm a private eye. And your father's worried about you too. Father? Is he okay? Did you see him? He's fine, but this isn't over yet. Do you have somewhere you could hide out for a while? Um, yeah, yeah, sure. We'll stay at Aunt Peg's. What's going on? Your father and I have a matter we need to deal with together. He'll explain everything when he can. Okay, okay. Please, mister. Take care of him. 
He's a good man. I'll try. I've got to go. Cycles really not doing a lot, but this game kept being annoying. Family is safe now. Yes, thank you so much. Uh, my sister-in-law just called to say Evelyn and Michael got there safely. I owe you everything. What happens now? Uh, should I turn myself in? First things first. You need to write a confession. It's your word against the witness. Uh, okay, I I'll take it over to the police station immediately. No, just give it to me. And the murder weapon. You still have it, right? Yes, sir. Here's everything. Good man. I'll go clear things up. I suggest you make the most of your time before the coppers come knocking. I'll get going. We've got the murder weapon. We've got the statement. I, Glenn Gordon Bayers. Current resident of Oakmont, Massachusetts, confessed to the murder of Johannes Vandenberg 
and voluntarily surrender myself in the hands of Oakmont Police. I accept due to my, I accept any due punishment, though can only hope for your understanding and mercy in light of my circumstances. Right. Alright, and mind plates. Now that Barnes doesn't have to worry about his wife and son, uh, he will confess to killing Vandenberg. All right. Um. Let's see. So, justice. Uh, Bayer's gun was a murder weapon. It directly implicates him in the crime. Uh, malice. Whoever is found with the gun will be implicated in the murder. It could be planted to frame someone else. Really? I wonder who I should plant that on. Milton Price uh, Pierce tried to frame me. So I'm going to return the favor. If I plant the gun among his bloody clothes, take a picture... And take a picture. Mr. Carpenter should consider it sufficient evidence against him. <laughs> ah, that guy's a douche fucking. Alright. So. We need to go back to his place. Where was he? I don't fucking remember where he lived. Is he over here? That's where he's at. Put a mark right there. Oh, wrong way. Mr. Thank you. 
What's your problem? Definitely kept some dirty clothes here. You can see the blood splatter. Now I must be in the basement. Alright. Alright, which way do I go to get back out of here? the news that's fit to print. Buy a paper, mister?
Good news. I found the man that really killed Vanderberg. His name is Glenn Byers. And better still, I have a confession written in his own hand. You work fast, Mr. Reed. But how do you plan on refuting Pierce's testimony against you? Well, as it happens, here's a letter detailing how Pierce was bribed to lie to the police. A remarkable effort. Thank you. I'll hand it all over to the authorities. Now, one more thing. Glenn was forced to commit the crime, and he confessed to everything. Given the circumstances, can he hope for leniency? I'll see what we can do. But do be aware, Mr. Reed, that in this city, excessive kindness may be taken advantage of. Bye. You've been doing a great job, Mr. Reed. I'm waiting for you at the Devil's Reef Hotel. Uh... The fuck? Well, fuck me. I thought I had a picture of the, the gun and what the face is. Did I not take the picture? Oh, well. How? How is this possible? At last, Mr. Reed. I heard about your recent case. Let me congratulate you. You've truly outdone yourself this time. A question, if I may. Um... I've got a question. How on earth are you still alive? What can I say? Perhaps next time you should make sure you finished the job. <laughs> it wasn't me and you know it. All this... All I went through, and there was no murder to begin with. The prosecution would beg to differ. They had all they needed. A victim, a method, and a culprit. The rest is just bells and whistles. You set me up. You son of a- I only set the scene. I'll- What? Kill me? As amusing as it would be to see you charged with my murder a second time, I'm afraid we have more pressing matters. What do you mean? You know exactly what I mean, Mr. Reed. The prophecy. The seal. You have made yourself a part of something momentous. First things first about your case. Your short-sightedness surprised me. Why, Charles? Why hand poor Mr. Byers over to the police. He was guilty. He pulled the trigger. Oh, was he? You too have carved a bloody path through this ailing city, Charles. You could at least be consistent in your choices. Regardless, I shall call this experiment a success. In fact, you should consider it a taste of your ultimate trial. I don't understand. What do you get from all this? You are headed into the darkness, Mr. Reed. I'm giving you the experience you'll need to find your way through it. What do you mean, my ultimate trial? What does this have to do with anything? <laughs> of course. Everything. It's your destiny. Destiny beyond comprehension. To be more than a speck of cosmic dust. To make waves across the universe. To end things. End what? Everything. 
You've suffered in this city from the very beginning. From the moment you were born, in fact. Wanting to end it is only natural. But unlike those untold millions before you, you have the power to do so. You can turn mere prophecy into absolute truth. You don't mean... The seal of Kotiganar is in your hands. You possess the key to the gates, and all they hold within. You can close them and cling to mankind's misery for a few more cruel centuries. Or you can open them and end it. And you will do the latter. Why? Why would I destroy everything? Because otherwise your life amounts to nothing. Do you know how many chosen few there have been over the centuries? Nameless hordes, sacrificed at the whim of invisible masters. Not unlike those who watered the poppies of Flanders with their blood. But our sacrifices mattered. We won the war. A war with many yet to come. This is your kin's nature, your purpose to suffer. Your monkeys in an open cage, unwilling to walk out. Only you can make a difference. You can end it all for good. You're wrong. I'll prove it. You will prove nothing. You'll die. And at the next turn of the cycle, another will come along who is brave enough to finish the job. Nevertheless, I cannot abandon you, whether you agree with me or not. Your path is too important, even if your choice is beyond my control. You're right about one thing, at least. There is an archaeologist in this city. He is very close to unraveling the secret of Katigana. And you'll need his help to get inside. His name is Joseph Hill. Here's his address. Talk to him. Earn his favor. Seriously? All that, and you don't even know how to find Katiganar? <laughs> if I knew that, would I be working with a private eye? This is wrong, Johannes. All of it. And I still have no idea why I should even believe you. The truth is the truth. Whether you believe it or not, you can accept it, or try to put the blindfold back on. It doesn't matter. Farewell, Charles. Whether we speak again or not, I will be watching. And don't lose the seal again, or all your effort in this city would go to waste. <clears throat> Oh yeah, did I mention we're not going to be speaking again, Johannes? You're right, I carved a bloody path through this city. And now you're dead too. Suck it, motherfucker. Canning Factory Mystery. The Blackwood Marsh Canning Factory was last night the site of some sad and unusual events. According to neighbors, inhuman screams and shouts in an unknown language, could be heard for several blocks. Witnesses also reported seeing flashes of light in an unusual car. Uh, they struggled to describe. Evernote Blackwood, the final representative of the Blackwood Grand family, was later found dead inside the factory. The cause of death could not be established, but with it comes the end of one of the pillars of Oakmont society. Uh, Brutus Carpenter retires. Brutus Carpenter, the head of the Carpenter Grand family, has announced his resignation, citing his old age and poor health. His grandson, Grand now take, uh, has now taken the family business into his own hands, actively engaging in charity. He has 
He was seen handing Tuesday handing out food and medications to anyone in need. If we don't lend a helping hand to the common folk, who will? Said the new patriarch. Uh, Graham Carpenter will also commemorate his appointment with a large donation to the venerated Redemption Church. Insanity spreading in recent days. Oakmont has experienced odd outbreaks of sudden madness. They seem to be spreading throughout the city, uh, seemingly at random. Though witnesses report seeing uh, university scientists at the location of outbreaks, Dr. Philip Grant of St. Mary's Hospital believes it is all due to a peculiar kind of helminth infestation that apparently originated somewhere around the university. He advises citizens not to neglect their health and to visit the hospital for a highly effective anti-helminthic treatment at the first sign of disease. Harriet Doe is dead. Uh, and sad news for many at Oakmont University, blood scientist Harriet Doe has passed away. The professor of archaeology was found, up washed, up, was found washed up at uh, Clan Shore Marina by a passerby. The Oakmont Chronicle uh, would like to express our sincere condolences to everyone who knew and loved Harriet Doe. Oakmont will mourn the loss of a mind with few peers. And the academic, the academic poisoner, Oakmont University, has lost one of its most esteemed teachers, the professor of biochemistry from the Department of Medicine, Dr. George Cavendish, a PhD, turned out to be responsible for numerous deaths. This maniac appears to have poisoned multiple innocent bystanders in recent days, leaving the academic world shaken. While some of his colleagues admit that with his passion, he seemed capable of anything. Others characterized him as a talented researcher and law-abiding citizen. His ex-wife, Anna Liddell, uh, appeared relieved by the news. He finally got what was coming to him. She said, I'm glad that the EOD was able to clear its good name after all he did to us. Oh, and yeah. Favorite son, Johannes, found dead in my my hotel room next. Let's see. I mean, interesting to wear. No. I think we'll stick with day wear. Or won't budge. King's Road. Okay, let's just see what the hell that is. Ah. Yes, Mr. Johannes' costume. Uh, I prefer that one. Oh, wait a minute. Criminal sentenced for life. Nice. The murder of the famous mystic Jonas Vandenberger has been solved. Police say newcomer Glenn Bears confessed to the deed and voluntarily surrendered to authorities. Bears was sentenced to life imprisonment for his crime. Interestingly, Bears' case was taken on by Oakmont attorney F. Scott, previously known as the work for the Carpenter family. I'll be doing my best to appeal this sentence, said Mr. Scott. Given the tragic circumstances of this crime, we believe a more reasonable sentence is achievable. Well, I certainly hope so. I'm watching you, newcomer. Yeah, did you see me murder the guy in my room? No? Well, there you go. Not doing a very good job. Uh, let's see. Uh, Vandenberg told me to get a hold of the f 
told me I hold the fate of Oakmont in my hands. Then I shot him in the fucking head, because fuck that guy. Oh, sorry. Um. The seal of Tegar. The ancient and blah, blah, blah. Okay. Uh, let's see. Lombard Street between Helog Street and Hale Street in Eastern Reed Heights. Oh, I'm sorry, baby. Put that on the map. We're looking for Lombard. That's Hulon. Oh, there's Lombard. Uh, he's on Lombard Street. Somewhere in here. Okay, for the record, Trixie and Tabby are, are maybe five feet apart at most. They're actually doing okay. All right, which is awesome, really. What the hell is this doing here? All right. Um, man, I just don't have any good ways into there. All right, Yeah, I know, I'm kind of happy about it. Tabby was laying under my, uh, my cable, and, uh, Trix is just, like, right off to my right side. I thought she'd left the room, but she didn't. Oh, damn it, that's gonna be some stuff that isn't good. Choice. Choose wisely. Well, that doesn't look good. He tried to escape, but something broke his neck with a single strike.
poor guy died here after several stomach wounds. Did it just twitch? Whoa. It must be my nerves. One ferocious blow, and he was gone. Uh, wild beasts carried out quite the massacre in here. Okay, that was fucked up. Is she gone? Did you get her? What the hell's going on? I'm sure I shot her dead, but then she ran. Oh, snub, we are in trouble now. It, my name is Joseph. Sorry for getting you into this, and thanks. Uh, Charles Reed. I was actually looking for you. For me? How can I help you? What do you know about that thing? The girl that attacked us? She's Usha, a Mayan priestess, rejected by death itself. I can only imagine what baleful sorcery still keeps her alive. Unusual, even by this mad city's standards. Baby? Why would a Mayan priestess come here? What's special about this house? It was me she was after. 
Grusha holds a secret older than humanity itself, and she wants to stop me from uncovering it. Don't ask me about it further. I can't say any more. I need your help to get into Katiganar. This madness must be stopped. Oh, that's a noble goal, but Vanderberg... Johannes was the one who told me about you, and about all the things that have happened since the Flood. He did? Well, I underestimated you. We share the same goal, but there's a problem. What kind of problem? The Mayan girl, Usha. She was the keeper of the key to Katiganar. We'll need it. You mean the seal? I have it. Just show me the entrance. The seal. You've got it. Spectacular. But alas, it, it doesn't solve our problem. You're testing my patience, Joseph. Usha was the last one to open the path below, and she still protects it. We cannot proceed until she's been dealt with. My bullets did nothing. Do you know of any other ways to fight her? There are ways to resist her sorcery. I was going to use them myself, but I'm not sure I have the skills to track this thing to her lair. But didn't she come to you? She caught me off guard, tried to kill me. I was unprepared. You arrived just in time to scare her off. Okay. I'm a private eye. Tracking Usha won't be a problem. But how do we handle her? Look, when you locate her lair, come let me know. Meanwhile, I'll prepare our defense against her magics. Then together, we'll banish her. Any leads on how to track her? I don't know. But she drinks blood to gain strength. There must be victims, corpses, but thanks to the wild beasts and madness, Oakmont is full of the dead. Uh, though, I did hear rumor of a vampire in Salvation Harbor. Well, I guess that's better than nothing. Johannes told me nothing about you. Can you fill me in before we continue? I understand. You're curious. Your face tattoos are rather... unusual. What do they mean? The Indians gave them to me. I visited a lost pyramid in the jungle. These are marks of wisdom. Your illness. How did you get it? Was it contagious? As with many other tropical maladies, it was born by a certain species of fly. They bred in the wells of the old Mayan temple. Superstitious savages may call it a curse of the gods, but we're people of culture, aren't we? I've seen enough to not take superstition so lightly these days. If Johannes trusts you enough to recommend your help, you must have some unique expertise. Well, I am an archaeologist, well-versed in alchemy and other less academic sciences. I have devoted my life to stopping the end of the world. Wait, what? I spent years in the jungle learning from Mayan descendants. The illness forced my return, but I believe Shibalba's entrance is under Oakmont. Did you say Shibalba? The world of the dead. It brings disasters, epidemics, madness. The most violent Mayan gods were locked inside and need sacrifices to remain. Different locals gave it different names. Some of them can be traced, their origins identified. But Katigana, it precedes us all. Do you want to get into this place? Under Oakmont. No, no! That place must be closed forever! All that befalls Oakmont has emerged from within its walls. Well, I agree with that. That's plenty. Thanks, Joseph.
crumpled letter. <coughs> Pardon me, crumpled letter. This is the last warning, my son. If you proceed with your self-destructive research, I'll take action. I can't watch you kill yourself, corrupt your mind, and sacrifice your health to these, these old fairy tales about the dead. It's not worth it. It's, wait, it's not worth of it. Uh, okay, maybe worthy of it. Uh, leave it or I'll leave you without inheritance. I won't have you spend this money on your own debt. N. Hill. Nice. It's always good to have parental support. of these plants. This photo was taken somewhere in South America. Well, yeah, by the look of the people in the photo itself it was taken in South America. Alright, well, guess enough lolly gagging around. and none of these clues are remotely related. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, shit, I have a lot of knowledge points. I keep forgetting to look at them. Well, let's get some more uh, XP there. Sanity, yes, that seems like a good thing. More crafting materials. Save and crafting. Shotgun. Let's see. I'll figure out where you're going to be, Tabby. Carry another first aid kit and an anti psychotic. More rounds of the revolver. I will carry more rounds because I like that.
Oh, yeah. And what was I about to do before I noticed that I could do stuff there? Right. We need to hit the cop shop and look up stuff going on in Salvation Harlem. Oh, yep, Tammy's right on the camera again. <laughs> it's her favorite place. Investigate this. To whom am I concerned? There's a conspiracy brewing in this city. <laughs> oh, sorry. <clears throat> uh, it's the fishman. I know you couldn't confirm my previous reports, but this time it's different. They're taking over. Their rancid underwater gold has been surfacing around the city. Soon they will have enough to buy out everybody. Your institution must investigate this. I took the initiative and performed a preliminary investigation. Yes, I know, I don't have a license, which is exactly why I need somebody who does. I'm sending you the first batch of my notes. Uh, more notes will follow as I carry on with my research. The conspiracy is real. The fishmen are, are the, the fishmen. The fishmen. Regards, Sims. Sure, why not? All right, let's see. So, crimes, I'm going to say violent. Witnesses, maybe? Salvation Harbor. Bam! Bloodless corpses. J. Callahan to Captain Lyons. Now, we received today a report about the latest victims of the so-called vampire. Several blood-drained cor blood corpses were found in a backyard on Old Church Road between C. Smith Avenue and Maple Lane in Eastern Salvation Harbor. I sent a patrol to inspect the crime scene. The bodies were similar to previously drained corpses in coverside shells and reed heights. No witnesses have come forward at this time. Okay. Uh, are you 
Misha is a undead killer who slays people to drink their blood. Duh. Okay, that really didn't help much. Oh, okay. I gotta look the space from that place where that happened. Let's put that on the map. Okay, Salvation Harbor. We're looking for Old Church. Church Road between Maple and C. Smith. Right in there somewhere. Strained, just like Joseph said. Fire and lots of fish. These guys were gonna have a good meal here. She didn't spill a single drop of blood. He didn't die immediately. These are some savage bites to the neck. He would have suffered. useful inside. Old clothes and garbage, but this letter may be helpful. Hotel owner's note. This is my final warning. If you don't pay me for the month due, I'll sell all your belongings and you'll be out on the street. No one may live at the Devil's Reef and avoid payment without consequences. If anyone had caught this shotgun blast, they would have lost their head. Ray 
eat this, buddy. Hope none of those hungry warm skins saw you here. Those hungry warm skins saw you here. Take this, damn corpse! Usha attacked three Innsmouthers before a man appeared and tried to shoot her. She called him Raymond and hypnotized him somehow. Whereabouts? A man named Raymond saw Usha attack and seemed connected to her somehow. He dropped a bag at the scene inside the, of which was a letter concerning his overdue rent for a room at the Devil's Reef. Sounds like it's time to go back to the reef. Hopefully they've cleaned that dead body out of my room by now. But I didn't get this one, I think I got that one. I believe a man named Raymond lives here. How's it your business? I need to talk to him. You'd be better off talking to the wall. Raymond Archer ain't here. Left a few days ago and never came back. Didn't pay either. Damn newcomer. What about his room? Did he leave any belongings behind? A pile of weird stuff and broken junk. Take a look if you want. It's the room next to yours. See you later. Please, stop it! Why do you show me this vile violence? I can't bear it! I've seen some of these places. The backyard with corpses, 
Joseph Hill's house. Why did he draw all this? Raymond's Diary, 3rd October, found work at a flooded lab on Moreland Road between C. Smith's Avenue and Powderhouse Street. Boss says some weird stuff, but sounds like there'll be a gold at the end. 20 October, prepared everything for the mission, including getting a diving suit. Mm. Good thing I know how to use it. Uh, good thing I know how to use it, too, because... The place is underwater. Boss said the entrance is marked with five big stones. 23 October. Barely got out of the. Barely got out with the mummy he wanted. And worse, there was no gold in the tomb. In her tomb. Taking the mummy to the lab. My egghead companion claims he can talk to the dead. Hopefully she'll tell him where the gold is. 9 January. I can't. How is it even possible? How could I know? No sleep, no rest. The mummy. Usha's whispering all the time, hidden underwater in her tomb. Spare me. Get out of my head. Did Raymond get this air tank from the same place I did? Too much to hope the fucker would stay dead. Nothing is related. Ah, okay. Raymond's dwelling. Raymond's diary. Alright, let's put the lab on the map. Let's see, Salvation Harbor. Moreland Road between C. Smith and Powder House. God damn it.
Last message. I can't take any more. My heart is breaking when I look into the hungry eyes of my family. They are still trying to smile, saying, Someday this horrible end. But I know the truth. I think they also understand this. There is no salvation. I've stashed a bullet for each of us. There's no need for them to know what I'm going to do. Goodbye, my beloved. I hope you'll forgive me. Oh, uh, well, that's... Wow. Thanks. That's just what I wonder what's going on. Hey, the foot of was not the place I was trying to get to.
were used for surgery. Essential salts of animals may be so prepared and preserved that an ingenious man may have the whole Ark of Noah in his own study and raise the fine shape of an animal out of its ashes at his pleasure. Uh, by the lake method from the essential salts of human dust, a philosopher may, without any criminal necromancy, call up the shape of any dead ancestor from the dust where to, into his body has been incinerated or else. Lovely. Looks like it contains ashes mixed with salt. I do not want to know its origin. Alchemist's Journal. 7 June. Materialization successful. Had to burn the subject with acid to make it talk. Who could imagine the entrance was the crypt? 12. September. Materialization successful. Hard to understand the deceased. Dialect is very old. He knows nothing about stopping the madness. Uh, 23. October. Raymond found the mummy I was after. She refuses to discuss Cytigenar or madness. Even acid didn't help. Uh, 9. January. This drain, Raymond wants his... This train, Raymond wants his gold, but she remains silent. Told me I'm not K chosen. We must try harder. Usha may wish for death, but as long as I have her essential salts, I can revive her. There will be no escape from the pain. Well, I guess I know what's in the jar, but who the hell is reviving her?
Usha told Hill nothing. Usha was tortured by Joseph Hill, but told him nothing because he's not a seed. Hill received the dead, revived the dead for answers. Joseph Hill resurrected Usha and others to learn about the madness emanating from Titaganar. Well, this is problematic. And I can see why she'd want to kill him. He seems like kind of a douchebag. But I don't know that that got us anywhere. something here. I don't think we've got an idea of where to go next. Someone wounded really wanted to get inside this room. We'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy Damhar or seals. to figure this out. You promised we'd be rich, Hill. Go ask her about gold. Not that nonsense about Kathy Damhar or seals. <laughs> Help me, you bastard! Stop this! Monstrosity! Oh! Let me in! Joseph Hill and Raymond tortured Usha to find out how to get inside of Katiganar. But she got free and attacked them. Hill fled, leaving Raymond alone with her. Stop! She has something to say. Raymond? 
I was looking for you. We have to talk about the undead Mayan. You don't need to hurt her. She knows what you want. She can offer a deal. Last I heard, you were trying to shoot Usha, but now you're her messenger. Why the about face? She took this body as her vessel. She doesn't want to frighten you. Well, using a man as a puppet is still creepy, Usha. What deal are you talking about? You, Chosen, must descend into the depths, into the shell. She knows the way. I need to enter to stop the madness. If you tell me how to do it, I won't pursue you. Generous. She has another offer. Help her, and she will tell you how to meet your destiny. What exactly am I supposed to do? Kill Sorcerer. Joseph. He does not let her rest. He will pursue and enslave her once again. You could have just told Joseph what he wanted. What difference would it have made? The sorcerer does not deserve these gifts. He is guided by pride and greed. She waited for the K chosen to appear. And here you are, marked, tied up by fate. She sees it in your eyes, wide shut. I don't think I need to know why she wants Joseph dead. He's a fuckball. What will you do after you're free? Live. If I do what you ask, where will we meet? Among the stone fingers in the Garden of the Dead. Oh, can't you just tell it straight? I've had enough riddles for a lifetime. She believes your mind is not that weak. Why should I kill Joseph? And why do you keep calling him a sorcerer? He woke her up, plundered her body, forced her to breathe once more, cut her, pierced her, burned her, kept her in chains. You want revenge. She wants freedom. No freedom while the sorcerer lives. After everything I've seen in this laboratory, I'm on your side. She will wait for you. Okay, let's see. Usha will help me if I kill Hill. She wants revenge on Hill, but can't do it herself. She promised me the secrets of Kytagonar if I as a reward. Uh, let's see. So, do I believe Usha won't tell me anything? Usha's proposal is a trap. She could wait for me to kill Joseph, then refuse to tell me anything about Katagonar. Uh, Usha, can, Usha can tell me about Katagonar. I should make a deal with Usha to learn the secrets of Katagonar. She will not only... She will only tell them to the sea. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Let's see... Hill hired Raymond as a body snatcher to bring Usha's corpse, but then, but when she got free, he abandoned Raymond. Uh, options, Hill can still be my ally, uh, just Hill will help me get inside Katagonar. We share the same goal, stopping the madness from spreading. Hill cannot be trusted, Hill is just using me to deal with Usha, just like he used Raymond. He is not a man who can be trusted. Well, yes, I definitely agree with that aspect. And let's see. What does this say? Hill must be killed. Well, yeah. Uh, while Usha would need to continue feeding on oak monitors, uh, she knows firsthand how to enter Cathagonar. Hill is a mad alchemist who cannot be trusted. He betrayed Raymond. He lied to me before. I need to kill him to prove to Usha I'm on her side. All right. Usha's hideout, 
Uh, Usha hides underwater in her tomb. The entrance is in the cemetery marked with five finger-shaped stones. This is exactly what Joseph Hill wanted me to find out. Choose wisely. I need an explanation, Joseph. No. Uh, what did you want to know? I know you had a deal with Raymond, the man who brought you the mummy. What happened to him? Nothing he didn't deserve. This newcomer. 
He was only interested in treasure. It's his fault who chose after us now. He's her toy now. Possessed and tormented. But it was you who let this happen. Me? I did not free her! And for Kay's sake, why should I risk everything to save an imbecile? My mission is of far greater importance. I found the laboratory, Joseph. The one used to raise dead from the ashes and salt. So then you understand why I need Usha's body. She knows what we both need. The way inside Kotiganar. You revived the dead, then tortured them. That's an abomination. Do not rush to judgment, Reed. They had their time. Would you truly value one old life over the suffering of millions? They're not even human. Those specters, monstrosities, they are just the vessels of their former knowledge. You can't compare them to the living. You tormented Usha to get the knowledge you were after. Why? She refused to tell me what I needed. I was trying to find another way, but until the spell was found, I used more mundane methods. Like pouring acid on her? It was stubborn. No longer human. I was forced to try everything. Every time I recreated her, she told me I didn't deserve the knowledge. Usha made me a proposal. She's willing to help me get inside Katiganor. What? Surely not. It must be a trap. You didn't even ask me what she wanted in return. I fear I know already. She wants me dead. Dane, she's using you, Reed! She knows I'm the only one who can stop her. I have already prepared the Ungwent to prevent her resurrection. Please, can't we just finish this as planned? Sorry, Joseph. I don't want to deal with either of you. But Usha is the one who knows what I need, not you. Nothing personal. You're dooming us all. I won't let you do this. Seriously? These Mayan artifacts could be the prized jewel in many a museum collection. And they look like, a lot like the gold he promised somebody and never delivered because he's a douchebag. Fuck you, backstabber. You did well. She is pleased. Enter her home and she will tell you the secret of the depths. Seems like a lot of running around when we're already talking. The vessel through which she talks would hear what he does not deserve. She would prefer not to kill him. Where will I find you? Didn't she tell you? About the stone fingers in the garden where the dead men live on? She thought you'd understand. Ah, oh, can't you be more specific? A garden for the dead? It, is that a cemetery or crypt? See? You did have it. Okay then. I'm on my way.
hanging out. Like that. I can do this. Up. Right. Let's see. I don't know about one graveyard. No, that's not it. That was it's out there. That's the only graveyard I know of. Your choice. Choose wisely. Alright, I think I'm going to call it here. My tooth is starting to bug me again, or my, my area there. Uh, and I need to eat some dinner. So, I think we'll go ahead and call it tonight. And uh, we will pick up and go talk to this lady who's probably going to just betray us anyway after that. Maybe she'll tell us something anyway. Alright, well, until tomorrow, hope you had a good stream. I'll see you later.